Hi folks, welcome to Chuck's Corner. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the hidden features in Samsung Galaxy S8, and I bet you didn't know you could do these things in your S8. One of the apps we use a lot in our phone is the camera. In S8, you can have dual shutter buttons, one in its usual place and the other one a floating shutter button that you can move anywhere around your screen within your reach to capture that moment. How do you set this up? Well, you just go to your camera settings and scroll up to go to the bottom and you have the floating camera button option here which you can enable it to get the floating button and this is very useful if you are taking wide angle selfies which helps you to just capture that moment very easily. Another neat little trick is that you can quickly launch the camera by pressing the power key twice. Now how do you configure this? You can do that by going to the camera settings. At the bottom you will find the quick launch option to enable and disable this. Well that's not the hidden feature I'm talking about. Once you have set this up and you are in your camera and want to switch between the front and rear cameras, you can do so by simply pressing the power key twice and it's going to switch between the cameras quickly. One of the hidden features of Samsung Galaxy S8 front camera is that it now supports selective focus mode. If you swipe right, you will be able to find your selective focus mode. The selective focus mode puts the near object in focus while blurring the background. Here's a selfie I took today with the selective focus mode using the Samsung Galaxy S8 front camera. As you can see, I am in focus while the background is blurred. Here is another selfie with me with the background blurred. And here is another selfie with my dog in the background blurred while I am in focus. Along with the new infinity wallpapers for Samsung Galaxy S8, Samsung also has few other different wallpapers that are exclusively available for your S8 and S8 Plus. And especially for the lock screen, for example, here is one of those motion wallpaper where if you tilt your phone, it actually changes color accordingly. So that's a neat little wallpaper to have in your phone. Now, how do you configure this? From your home screen, long press, to go to wallpapers and themes and just search for motion wallpaper and that's going to give you all of the wallpapers available right now that you can download. Some are free, some cost you money, but you can easily identify these wallpapers from the icon at the top right showing the motion tilting effect. Just like the motion wallpaper, there's also another set of wallpaper exclusively available for Samsung Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus called the multi wallpaper that you can apply to your lock screen. As the name suggests, it's going to give you a different wallpaper every time you go to your lock screen. So here is a wallpaper and if you just again go to your always on display and then quickly check your lock screen, you will find a different image. How do you set this multi wallpaper? Well, from your home screen, long press, go to your wallpapers and theme and just search for multi wallpaper and that's going to give you all of the multi wallpapers available for download. Now you can also identify them through the icon at the top right where it shows the multi wallpaper setup. The next neat little trick is to how to enable Samsung Galaxy S8 to remind you on some of the notifications. For example, you might want to get reminded that you have a message from your wife every three minutes or every minute since you haven't read the message yet. Well, you can configure those in the settings. So if you go to your settings and scroll down to go to the accessibility and in there you will find the notification reminder. And these notification reminders you can configure for whichever apps you want to. You can also set it to vibrate and you can also set the reminder interval for every three minutes, five minutes, up to 15 minutes. So that's a nice little way to let yourself remind that you still have some notifications that you would have to go through. This is one of my favorite hidden feature of Samsung Galaxy S8, especially if you have kids that borrow your phones. For example, I usually give my phone to my daughter to watch her favorite videos from YouTube, especially Dave and Ava. And I don't want her to accidentally send a message or go open my Facebook app. So now what I do is that I enable the interaction control by pressing the power key and volume up key together for a few seconds. And then that's going to ask me, hey, do you want to basically outline the area that you wish to block or the whole screen? And in the options, you can also say enable the power key, volume key and keyboard. And here I have set the volume key so I can control the volume. Once that is done, now basically what happens is this is running with everything locked down. So nothing happens if you 
touch the screen, nothing happens if you touch the Bixby button and nothing happens if you touch the power key as well. And to come out of this mode, which is the interaction mode, you just do the same thing. Press the power key and volume up a few seconds and then that's going to in turn off the interaction control. So how do you turn on this interaction control mode? Well, you go to your settings, under the accessibility, navigate to dexterity and interaction, and at the bottom, you will find the option to enable the interaction control. Once you have enabled this, you can turn on this mode, and you can also set to go back to screen lock when you turn off this mode. The next hidden feature we're gonna see is how to move some apps to your external card. S8 and S8 Plus both support microSD card, so you can save some of your photos and other music and videos into your external card. But you can also move some of the apps. To do that, you can go to settings and under the apps, where you have all of your apps listed here, say let's select this game, Alto's Adventure, and there you will find the option for storage. If you click that storage, you will see that you can now change that to internal storage and SD card. And once you click the SD card, it's going to say, hey, I'm going to move some of the contents and transfer them to the external card. So I'm going to be using that hereafter. And once that is done, now this game will use and save some of the contents that it needs in the external storage rather than the internal storage. And that's how you can move apps to your external storage. And those were some of the hidden features of Samsung Galaxy S8. If you do know more hidden features, please share them in the comments below. If you like my video and want to see more like this, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, bye.